What's up? My name is Technobi here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. In this quick video, I'll be showing you how you can move the Windows subsystem for Linux virtual drive from one physical drive to another. By default, it's stored in percentage local app data percentage. I simply hit start R to open this percentage app percentage local app data percentage. Okay, then inside of your app data local folder, we're going to packages. And inside of here, we're looking for the operating system that you have installed under WSL or even multiple. Canonical Group Limited, Ubuntu is what I'm using. And inside of here, in the local state folder, we have this absolutely massive chonker file, 86 gigabytes of virtual hard drive. Now, this isn't too much of an issue for me as I've just upgraded to a much bigger C drive, but previously I moved it to a different drive. There's two ways of doing this, and one way you'll be told about on the internet is the only way to do it, and I'm here to tell you that it's definitely, definitely not. The quote-unquote only way you'll find how to do it on the internet is by running a few commands. That's these commands here. Essentially, you'll change to whatever drive it is that you want to move it to, make a WSL folder, and go into it. Then you'll be exporting a copy of your WSL, so it'll back up everything, copy it, and paste it onto another drive. Then you'll unregister it make a new folder, and you'll import that backup that we just created into that new folder. So essentially, we're copying everything once, then we're copying them again, this time to the same disk, so we'll have two copies of it, just for us to move from one drive to another. That's one, two copy operations. This one over here will be a lot slower on hard drives because you're reading from one drive and writing to the same drive, so the head will have to move around a lot more. This can be incredibly slow, and there's a much, much faster way to do it. Consider this a forbidden troubleshoot trick, but you're going to learn about it here now. A program that I absolutely love is the link shell extension. Essentially, you can head across to this link in the description down below, but you can download the link shell extension by clicking download up here, then scrolling down a little, looking for all Windows 64, and clicking this download over here, then installing it when it's done downloading. You'll also need to restart your Explorer, I think it is, but that's really quick. Anyways, when the installation is done, you can practically right-click any file on your PC, or even folder for that matter, and you'll have a new option called Pick Link Source. When you do, it'll create a note of where this file is physically located. Then we can right-click anywhere else in any other folder on any other drive, drop as, and we can choose between hard link and symbolic link for files, which are some link types, and for folders we can choose hard link, clone, symbol link, junction, etc. There's a whole bunch of options. Essentially, we can make a link to a physical file somewhere on our PC, and it'll appear to every program, at least certain types, when we drop as, will appear to programs the exact same way normal files do, but they'll be physically located in another drive. That's exactly what I'm going to do here. Essentially, all we have to do is go back a folder. So here's my big virtual hard drive. I'll go back and I'll essentially cut the local state folder here and paste it onto another drive. For this, I'll open up my H drive here and I'll paste it in. Just like that, it's now copying 80 gigabytes of file from one drive to another. This is an NVMe to an NVMe, so 80 gigs at 1.5-ish gigabytes a second isn't too bad, but we just need to wait for this to finish. Now that we've moved this entire folder from one drive to another, all we need to do is right-click the folder, click Pick Link Source, now that it's located physically on a different drive, and inside of our Packages folder here, right-click and drop as, then Junction. There's many options here, Symbolic, Smart Copy, Mirror, DeLorean Copy, Symbolic Link Clone. We're using Junction here. This is the simplest kind of symlink, at least for folders. Whenever a program tries to open this folder here, then Local State, these files are presented as if they exist on this disk, where instead they're located on a different disk. If you unplug this other disk, Windows is going to get very confused and unhappy at you, so make sure you don't unplug this disk while WSL is running. It's like pulling out your C drive while Windows is running. Don't do it. Anyways, now all we have to do is fire up Ubuntu or whatever this is. In my case, it's Ubuntu. As you can see here, it'll load, and just like that, we're dropped into the main menu here. If I LS, you can see all of my programs are still here. Everything's intact. It's perfectly exactly the way it was in my other drive. Now it's just physically located somewhere else. So whenever it talks about this file, it points here instead. So to move it back, I'll simply just delete the local state folder, 
cut my folder here and paste it here instead. When we're deleting that junction, it doesn't actually touch any of the original files. It only touches the pointer to the original files, and it should show as roundabouts one kilobyte or zero bytes even to file managers and things like that. It's quite literally just a pointer saying these files here should be pointed to here. That's all it does. That's all that junction link does. So if we delete the junction link, it leaves all of our files intact on whatever drive they're physically located. However, if we open that junction and we delete files within it, it's telling Windows to delete files and see this location. See this location points to my other drive, so files are deleted. Just an important note to keep in mind. Anyways, moving it from my other drive back to my C drive here, you'll see that the file now appears as it does normally. There's the file inside of it. If I type in Ubuntu and open it up once more, after a quick boot up of WSL, you should very shortly see that everything's gone back to normal. LS, there's all of my files, and here it is located on my C drive. Super simple. That's really about it for this quick video. I hope you do enjoy my forbidden technique of doing this. I don't know why other people don't do it this way. There's probably some long-winded explanation of why you should just move everything. In that case, just move the entire packages folder and symlink that. Anyways. My name's been Techno, be here for Troubleshoot. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.